Hi, hello, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, why am I so weird? Okay, so you saw the title. I repainted my Strat pick guard. Um, I think it looks cool, but that is just my opinion. Leave yours in a comment, please. I am quite curious. Anyway, okay, so actually I repainted that about a year ago before I had started this channel, so I didn't film it when I was doing it, so now I, I just have to do this this worse version kind of uh and sorry about any buzz you might hear from my microphone it is just a complete piece of garbage um which means that when i'm talking i have to have the gain almost all the way up um which means if i move it you can hear noises it's fun right all right anyway I don't want to get too off topic. Uh, every product I used, I will leave a link to in the description if you're looking to do this yourself. Um, if you are looking to do this yourself, uh, find another source first. This is kind of just like basic information. I don't want you to follow these instructions exactly because who knows how it'll end up. Anyway, okay. So the first thing I did was I scuffed up the pick guard with sandpaper so that the paint would stick a bit more. Basically, the entire internet said to do that, um, so so I did it. Uh, you probably should, too. There, there was no harm done to it, uh, especially because you're going to be painting over it, so it really doesn't matter. I don't think the grid of sandpaper matters either, uh, but I, I could be completely wrong on that. I don't remember what, what kind of sandpaper I used. Anyway, I am getting off topic again, aren't I? So, okay, once I did that, then I mixed the paint together. Uh, the paint I used was this um, and uh, these three colors. Uh, black, blue, and white. Um, Artist's Loft acrylic paint. Uh, I think they had um, a version in the store. This was a while ago again. I think they had a version that was... Uh, already ready to pour but it was cheaper just to get this too uh artist's loft pouring medium uh it says acrylic there i guess that means it's for acrylic paint i don't really know uh but make sure that it is either ready to pour or you put some of this stuff in or else it will be thick and your project will suck completely actually probably not you could make something cool out of it but <laughs> oh why am i so weird okay anyway <laughs> Again. Okay, so once I, once I thinned it and everything, um, oh, by the way, I also used, I tried to use some of this silicone oil, also made by Artist Loft. Um, it's supposed to make it like bubble or, you know, have spots on it, kind of like polka dots, but that didn't really work. Maybe I didn't use enough. Uh, if you're going to try this, I just wouldn't bother with it, but I'm not you, so do whatever you want. Okay. So once I had the paint thinned in three individual cups, then I mixed them all into one cup. And how I did that is I just poured them into one cup. Logical, right? Uh, but then after that, you have to stir it with a popsicle stick or something similar. I used a popsicle stick. Um, you don't want to do it too much or else you won't be able to see the cool patterns if you're pouring it like I did. Um, and you don't want to do it too little or else you'll end up with big spots, kind of like this black one right uh, there and that I mean I kind of wish I had mixed it a bit better but you know it is what it is I, you, really again you can do whatever you want okay so uh, then once I had the mixed in one cup I just poured it oh by the way um, make sure you have it level and elevated above the surface you're pouring on the surface should be protected with aluminum foil or something similar just because you're going to get paint all over the place and you don't want your surface to be ruined unless you do uh, man this video is a train wreck already isn't it <laughs> oh well uh okay so make sure it's elevated and level and then you just pour the paint from the cup on uh you you don't really have to get everywhere all in all in one go it, it spreads and does that itself. However, you want to make sure there's no chance of there being blank spots. So like, you know, kind of get in the general area of all the corners and stuff, but you don't, you don't have to pour it everywhere all at once. It'll spread and that's what makes the cool patterns. Um, so then once you do that, you have to let it dry. Uh, I covered it with another sheet of aluminum foil 
you want to make sure that this sheet of foil does not touch the top of the pit guard, um, or else it'll be ruined. Probably not completely, but still, you you don't. It's it's a little extra bother. So yeah, just make sure that it doesn't touch the actual pit guard. And the reason why I did that is so that no dust got in it when it was drying, because it took a few days. And uh, once uh, once those few days are over, you can pick it up, see if you like it or not. If you don't, probably clear it off somehow. I, I didn't. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so you're gonna have to find another source. Uh, but then make sure you poke out the screw holes with an exacto knife or sewing needle or something like that. You just uh, for the next step, which is the resin, you you don't want stuff in those those screw holes. All right, now the resin part. Um, that's the part I screwed up. I don't really feel like holding this right up to the camera, and you probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway, but it's, like, really uneven. There's some rough patches. There are some bare patches. So that was not the greatest job by me. It was entirely my fault. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, okay, so the uh, resin I used was this uh, it's some kind of off-brand thing like envirotex light you don't need very much at all I, I didn't even use all of this it's uh eight fluid ounces kit yeah so you don't need very much at all i'll find this or something similar in the description i'll know link it is what i mean oh man why why am i so bad at talking anyway <laughs> okay so you follow the instructions in the box the bottle whatever it is you uh, mix it, then you pour it, same as the paint. It, this time, it's more important for it to be level, as I found out, because it is easily messed up. Um, so, yeah, just make sure it's, it's level. You want it to get everywhere evenly. All right, and once you do that, then you cover it again so there's no dust. You let it set, or what is it curing for this? Oh, well, I don't really remember. Uh, either set or cure for the amount of time specified on the box. And you should probably go even a little longer just to be sure. But anyway, once that's done, then you want to make sure you clear off the bottom for any drips that hardened, or else it won't be able to go evenly back on your guitar. Um, once again, clear out the screw holes with some sharp thing, because uh, you want to put the screws back in, unless you don't. <laughs> Uh, but I'm assuming you do. So, so yeah, just clear out the screw holes. Uh, that's basically it. And also, at the same time, when, when the pit guard was off, I took advantage of that opportunity to uh, shield the inside of my guitar, the guts. Um, shielded the cavity with this um, two-inch copper conductive adhesive tape. Uh, this was like 12 bucks, and, you know, with any guitar with single-coil pickups, it's you should probably just do this, even if you're not uh, repainting the pickguard. Just do this. It reduces buzz by a whole lot. Um, the, the video I used to help me do that was very helpful. I'll try to find that and link that in the description. Um, to be honest, I would have been lost without it, but yeah. Uh, definitely shield your guitar cavity. Um, okay, so that's basically it for the, the video. Uh, again, please comment your, your thoughts on, on how this looks, if you think it looks cool or not. Um, and if you have any tips for people trying to do this in the future, or for me trying to do it in the future on another guitar that I wanted to repaint for some reason, please leave comments. <laughs> that would be very much appreciated. Uh, if you're still here and watching this, you're awesome completely. I love you. Bye.